Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 32 degree Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday the 26th of January. How about that? Nice, quiet, other than a truck going by out there, back off on the highway. Very peaceful morning. <laughs> it's very comfortable this morning. How does one of those mornings you go, man, this is a Saturday morning, right? Nope, but it's supposed to be nice again today. Less than a 6% chance of rain. So poor old war wagon sitting out here all fogged up. You get to stay home. We're gonna take the MDX once again today. See you, Sachiani. Meathead mutts. Oh, mama's already in the car, I gotta go. Mama says, let's roll. Let's roll. Turn around, you're already in the automobile. I always get something on my glasses. Oh, <laughs> I know, it never ends, does it? I know, it drives me crazy. Yeah, all right. All right. Let's um, head to the south land. Don't do all right. All right. Well, Mama, yes, it was another foggy ride. It was. There was parts with sunshine. It was it was a nice ride. It was. The, the peeps, the other drivers out there were mostly safe. Yeah. Was it too dang crazy? No. But on that, let's bust out a hump day. How about that? That sounds good to me. How about that? Did you have a nice little nap? A little nodding off I woman did. over there? Oh, I was just driving so cozy along. in here. I could just... Oh, I need more sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll All get right. you home so you can... Well, you can take a nap on the way home and then take a nap when you get home. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Have right. a good day. You too, Alba. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye now. Bye. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, and I haven't I've unlocked my box. I haven't touched a single tool. I've been doing, oh, Lord, BRP testing for uh, Sea-Doo and, and Ski-Doo, the personal watercraft and snowmobiles. Man. I'm numb. I got 100% on that on that test, though. That one actually kind of scared me. I don't do a lot of stuff with the, with the boats and the snowmobiles. Anyway, let me get back at her here. I think I'm gonna go upstairs and get me get myself a cup of mud, and decompress a little bit more, and come down and tackle the next one. Well, I got all the tests done, passed everything. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful out there. Man, it's pretty cold out here, too. Let's get... Whoa! Just fell off the dang curb there. The little Mount Hood, one more shot there. That's something else. What a beautiful day. Didn't get to ride nothing. Been sitting on a stool doing testing all day. That has not been cool. Sunset here in Vancouver is 5.08. It is... 437 or 432 at the moment. I'll be rolling out of here for too long. I'm just going through making sure everything's all locked up. Well, I take a brief moment, toss some brake pads on this thing. How about that? That's considerably more thickness there, isn't it? Yeah. So I need to top my bottle off, which means I'll have to clean the the cap again. Make sure she's all nice and dry and ready to conquer the world. Pop the wheel on here right quick and make her mobile and get it up to, uh, James is gonna do the tires on it upstairs. I think he already has them up there. And then when the other stuff comes about, we'll, uh, we'll address that. Need a tail light. And the uh, craziest thing, we didn't have them valve cover gaskets in stock, but whatever. It is what it is. And then uh, we'll move on. Hopefully I can get, I don't know what I got going for tomorrow. Hopefully I can get that spider done or something. I'd like to get some of this chaos off of my bench. Holy moly. Some of that's still the old parts too. Some of them are, some of them are down in there, and the rest of them are the old parts are still sitting there. 
when you come in, you're not expecting to spend the day messing around with tests. I was going to do them this weekend. They got to be done by the first. But uh, they wanted them done now. So they blocked off my schedule and says, do BRP test. So that's what it, what I did. <laughs> Look at Mount Hood now. If that'll even come out. Yeah, buddy, that's cool. All right, let's bounce out of here. Driving down the freeway with this. I was hoping to see. Hope I was pointing that right. Watch out, vehicle on shoulder ahead. No. <laughs> There's been a lot of them on the way home tonight. It's crazy. I've been pushing that still there or not there button about a hundred times. It's cool how intense that color can be. That's like crazy orange. good thing I'm not a down in the dumps doom and gloom kind of a person because I'd be just doing a woe is me thing number one good friend of many many years probably 15 plus years a gal a fellow rider found out that she passed away yesterday she had a um, ALS I had no idea she was even ill um, last time I seen her was last year you remember uh, we had her old um, SL70 Honda. We had to do a carb clean and points and stuff like that and got it going. She was fixing it up for a little kid to race. And um, what she's been doing the last quite a few years now is racing vintage motocross. And um, super cow, cool gal. Um, she talked to me, geez, for like months. And then um, when I was doing photography and she ended up starting her own her own photography business. In fact, I think, you know, she was still doing it. But I guess she was ill for a bit. I didn't even know. I had no idea. Man, what a mess. Then, uh, you know, I, you know, that little LCP2, the little Ruger um, 380 ACP, that little pocket pistol, that thing's so cute. <laughs> what an awesome little, little handgun. But um, anyway, I saved up and decided to purchase the new LCP Max. It looks pretty much the same, but it's a double stack. Instead of a 6 plus 1, it's a 10 plus 1 or a 12 plus 1 with an um, extended magazine. It barely, barely extends. So ordered that January 1st. It says it was in stock. I get an email on January 2nd, which was Sunday, saying you can come pick it up tomorrow. And as it turns out, the store is open on Sundays. But, you know, I can't pick it up because a year ago, whatever, they passed a thing here in Washington. Even if you have a concealed handgun permit, you can't go in, purchase, and walk out like you used to. Like I've done for, geez, years and years and years. But um, anyway, <laughs> so it says I can pick it up Monday. I go in. Guy comes back, says, I'm sorry that we don't have that. It's actually on order. I go, well, shows you have it, had it in stock. So I pull up my order and it shows in stock, pick up today. So <laughs> he goes, well, I'm sorry, the website must be wrong. So I go through, come on, Danny boy. Took you a long time. It's freezing cold out there, dog. Yeah, look at you, you're freezing. So um, anyway, he goes, well, we'll, We'll contact you when it comes in. I go, well, that's cool. And so I wasted the trip driving down over there. It, so instead of getting it from the Kelso, me and my impatience, um, it, it showed that Kelso wouldn't have it until January 11th. So Vancouver shows they had it in stock. I said, well, I'm down there every day. I'll just, you know, swing by there before or after work. And uh, so anyway, swing in, doesn't have it. Um, so I, I, I called multiple times and, uh, to some dude there, just really rude says, he goes, well, call or email you when it comes in. So the last time I called, 
was last Wednesday. And kind of the same guy, really rude. You know, I said, you don't even know what my name is. How do you know it's not here? Because I, like I've told you before, you'll get an email or we'll call you when it's in. So I grabbed my phone, uh, contact uh, Sportsman's Warehouse, their corporate, and this really nice dude within minutes emails me back saying, I'm sorry, you had a bad experience at our Vancouver store, yada, yada, yada. But it's been there since the 5th. In fact, it was not in stock the day I went to pick it up on the 3rd, but two days later, it was there. So, finally, <laughs> last Wednesday, I go in and uh, fill the paperwork out for it. Well, Lewis County only takes about four or five days at the max to um, go through. They do all the federal and state and whatever all checks they do, you know, with um, firearm purchases. And... uh so uh, I I call today a week later, and I get that one guy, and he never gives his name too, and I can't figure out who it is. Anyway, he goes, he goes, no, he goes, your paper has work hasn't come through yet. I did give him my name, and he did. I don't. I think they go back and look. Anyway, he says no, it's not here. He goes, it it usually takes about two weeks to get stuff back. He goes, that's about to go in time. I said, well, the one in Kelso is about four or five days. He goes, well, it's different here in Clark County. I said, okay, well, maybe so. He goes, we'll give it a couple more weeks. I said, dude, it's already been, you know, a week. And uh, he goes, well, give it another couple of weeks. All right. So here I am with that. And then USPS on the 13th said they delivered a belt that I ordered from Amazon. And um, it didn't get delivered. Finally, a private party on Tuesday of last week, four days later or whatever it was, drives up and dumps it in our, you know, big metal box. And, you know, not being a mail person, they didn't know how the box works. So they actually stuck it in an outgoing slot instead of down in the, boom, down in the hole where the mail goes. Uh, and then I get a call from uh, USPS saying that it was delivered on the 13th as stated. No, it wasn't. We got security cameras there. There was no mail truck ever there at the time. He said he was there. A private party got delivered to the wrong address in a private party. Thankfully, he delivered it. And um, so anyway, a couple of things I got Kelly today um, from Amazon. One's Amazon Logistics. It shows up. The other one shows that at 9 a.m. this morning, it was handed to um, a person in the store. There's no sign that any mail truck come walking in our door at 9 a.m. this morning. So, and I went, sat down, did this long forum with USPS like I did with the belt. And um, I get to the end and it says, I'm sorry, there's a problem submitting your form. Try back later. <laughs> Kelly goes, you poor thing. I'm like, dude, telling you what, good thing, it's a good thing I don't freak out about things. Kelly goes, why don't you get mad about that thing? Says, Woman, ain't no sense in getting all upset over something. It's just going to be what it's going to be. She goes, well, how much was that thing? I said, it was 40 bucks. Ah, that pissed me off. <laughs> I said, see, I don't even have to get mad. You get mad for me, crazy little woman. Anyway, so yeah, it's been a thing of things not showing up. So who knows? But, uh. I'll show you guys that thing when it comes in. It's really close because when you go file the paperwork, you can stand there and fiddle fart with it there at the counter. It um, has a feels better because it's a slightly wider, and I mean slightly. If you look at any reviews between the LCP2 and the LCP Max, I mean, li they're literally about the same size. How they get the extra four to six rounds, depending on what magazine you have in it, is kind of amazing. But I'll do a little mini review on that. I need to take you guys out when we go plinking. But uh, it's weird recording those things. I've, you know, the times I've done in the past, um, it's weird. I got a lot of you guys saying, yeah, I've never seen, I've been watching you for years. And well, as I explained, you know, the whole YouTube thing, I stopped recording that. But uh, you ever heard a playlist? Look at my playlist. There's like 50 gun videos on there. But uh, old stuff, but they're in there. 
I've got, and then if you go to the Sean Smoke channel, there's even more over there. So yeah, I've been doing them. I stopped because YouTube was freaking out about it. Now they've relaxed a whole bunch. It is, you, you have certain rules. And um, as long as you abide by them rules, your video goes through, doesn't get docked or demonetized or anything like that. Just follow the rules. Just be a good boy. Follow the rules. You may not like the rules, but follow them and everything goes smoothly. I'm a rule follower. People freak out about rules and stuff. I say, well, if you don't like it, quit voting them people in. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to bounce. Me and Danny gonna go in and grab the mama and say a quick goodbye. Alrighty. I'm not freaking out. <laughs> Some of you guys are probably going, oh, I'd be so mad. But yeah, just gotta let it roll off. Well, hello there, YouTube. I was out there telling the peeps all my shipping all your and woes. ordering woes. <laughs> Being impatient and not going to my tried and true Kelso sportsman and go to the Vancouver. Since I... You know, telling guys at work what happened. And they're all going, Oh, don't ever go to the Vancouver one. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, well, you could have told me that yeah, earlier. Yeah. So, well, you know, I was on vacation at the time. It was on January 1st. Mm -hmm. Ordered it on a Saturday and shows it was in stock. Figured I'd swing by Monday, do the paperwork. Four or five days later, roll out. Nope. Here we are, the almost the 27th. Later. Yeah. Yeah. Still Patience nothing. is a virtue for then a reason. USPS, anything that comes USPS, I cringe. Yeah. Literally cringe. A good thing. Delivered. No, no it wasn't. Not. It's crazy how often that happens yeah. at work. Anything else? But like when you order Amazon, you don't know until they ship it how it's coming. You know, I can't tell them, you know, don't use USPS no matter what, you know? Yeah. Maybe I can. I don't know. But anyway, it all ends up sorting out. Yeah. Either there I'll lose forty dollars on something, and Kelly be mad. She yeah. doesn't like losing a penny. No, no, gotta she hold goes, on to the pennies. You need to contact him right oh, away. Oh, I know. I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> She's good when you put him on the phone. Boy, she's fiery. <laughs> like, dang girl. She yeah. goes, wow. What forty dollars? I'm not. I mean, no. Do you know how many hours I have to work to make that? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I think on that, why well, it's thirty-five or whatever it is out yeah, here. Yeah, it's kind of chilly. It's gonna be another cold, cold night. Mm -hmm. We're gonna roll. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give your thumbs up. And you have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Thank you. I got a cobweb or a hair or something. Oh. Crawled on my face. Oh, I, I feel it just tickling. I fought one. Then Danny's work moving all down way. there. I'm thinking it's coming from him. Yep. <laughs> Daddy from Oh, he wouldn't come off of him anyway. He's got no, short fur. He's got short sure. That'd be It'd a Sashi or Leo like fur. Yep. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the morning. See you then. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.